So in this video, we are going to solve problems based on what nth derivatives. Okay. So the basic problems we are taking and solving directly from the formulas how to apply and find out the answer for following problems. Okay. So so we can relate it to y is equal to e power ax, right? And the nth derivative of y is equal to e power ax is nothing but what a power n into e power ax. Okay. Here same formula we have to apply. The thing is that here a value will be what three. So it will be so y n is equal to a power n. So it will be three power n e power a x. So three x. This will be the answer for the given problem. Now here it is y is equal to a power three x. It is not e power. Here it is a power three x. Now this can be related to what which one? Y is equal to we have studied a power m x. Okay, and nth derivative of a power m x is given by m log a power n into a power m x. M here it is three, right? So m here it is three. So we have to just substitute. So n y n is nth derivative will be m, which is three log a power a into whole power n. N will remain as it is into a power three x. Okay. So only change is that in place of m you have to substitute three. You will get the answer. So this and all you have to write on the side so that they will understand that which formula you are applied. Okay. In this problem, y is equal to three power five x. Now this can be related to the previous problem where a value is also given here, right? A value is three. So in place of a, you have to substitute three. So again, we are going to apply the same thing. Y is equal to a power m x, where in this particular question we have got two values, a and m, right? So this formula you write first, then. So here you have got two values. M value is is equal to five, and n value, sorry, a value is equal to three. So nth derivative will be equal to m, which is three, log a. A here it is five, power n, a power. So a power means three power five x. So this will be the answer. Okay. Fourth question here we are having a rational. Function we have got one by three x plus two. To which formula we can relate? See, we have studied y is equal to one by a x plus b, right? So for that, nth derivative is given by minus one power n n factorial into a power n divided by a x plus b power n plus one. This formula you have to remember. So in this formula, what all things is given? So you can relate it. Here a value is given and b value is given, right? So a is equal to three and b is equal to two. So you can write the nth derivative as wherever you see a in the formula, just place it over there and b also. So minus one power n as it is into n factorial into a we got so three power n whole divided by a x plus b. So same thing you have to copy paste. Power n plus one. So this will be the final answer. So the fifth problem, y is equal to log two x plus five. This can be related to which one? Y is equal to log a x plus b. And nth derivative of that is given by what? Minus one power n minus one into n minus one factorial into a power n whole divided by A x plus b power n. Okay, A x plus b power n. So this formula we have to see. Now in this, which one all given? See, a value is given, b value is given. So we can write that a value is equal to two and b value is equal to five. And for that, nth derivative will be minus one power n minus one into n minus one factorial into a value is two, so two power n all divided by 2x plus 5 power n. So this will be the final answer. So sixth question we are taking here. Y is equal to cos 4x plus 3. Now we have seen the formula for y is equal to cos ax plus b. Right? This we have seen. So y n is equal to which is nothing but the nth derivative will become a power n 
cos n pi by 2 plus ax plus b. So this is the formula for nth derivative. So here when you compare, we can understand that 4 is a, b is 3. So I can write m a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 3. Now I can apply directly nth derivative we can find a power n. Right. So it is 4 power n cos n pi by 2. So n pi by 2 plus ax plus b. So directly you can write 4x plus 3. So this is the answer for the given problem. So here y is equal to sin 6x. Now the problem is that here in this particular thing we have studied the formula for y is equal to sin ax plus b. Right. We didn't study about sin 6x that kind of thing. Now we can assume that this particular thing is x is there yes x is there beside x who is sitting a is sitting so what is missing from this formula only a b part is missing right not a b part is missing so we can assume this as what zero this we can assume it as what zero so 6x plus zero we can assume now here a and b value so what is the formula for this one we can write it as nth derivative is equal to a power n sin it is same as what only changes are in place of cos you put sin that's it so n pi by 2 plus ax plus b okay so this formula we have to apply where a and b value we got so a value is 6 which is the coefficient of x b value we have taken it as 0 now the nth derivative will be a power n 6 power n sin n pi by 2 plus ax plus b so only ax is there so 6x no need to write plus 0 so we can just write it as 6x so this part is done so eighth question y is equal to e power 2x cos 3x right so here we have got this so which formula we can compare it with see we have studied for the y is equal to if it is e power ax here cos is there so i have to take cos bx plus c because a has already come so this for this particular function nth derivative is given by square root of a square plus b square whole power n into e power ax into cos of n into tan inverse b by a plus bx plus this is the formula for nth derivative okay so we have to now compare the things here we can see this form you compare it so a will be what a will be 2 so i can write a as 2 and cos bx plus c see again i said here what will be c value c value will be 0 okay so bx we can compare with 3x so b value is equal to 3 and c value will become 0 since it is not there so directly we can apply the formula for y and nth derivative so it is given by square root of a square plus b square so 2 square plus 3 square power n e power ax it is 2x into cos of n into tan inverse b by a so it will be 3 by 2 plus bx plus c so bx value we know it is 3x plus 0 no need to write just close the bracket so this will be the answer we can just simplify square root of this will be 4 plus 9 4 plus 9 is how much 13 so square root of 13 power n e power 2x cos n tan inverse of 3 by 2 plus 3x the ninth problem we are taking here so e power x sin x can be compared with what y is equal to e power x previously we have done cos x here it will be sin bx plus c so this thing we can compare it what is the nth derivative nth derivative is given as same formula only changes that in place of cos sin will come so it is a square plus b square whole power n e power ax into sin n into tan inverse of b by a 
plus bx plus c right now here a value will be what a value will be compare it with e power ax so a value will be 1 coefficient of x so here it is 1 then bx plus c so b value will be here sin x is there what will be the coefficient 1 so again 1 c value it is not there so we have to put it as 0 okay now we can directly write the answer so y nth derivative will be equal to 1 square square root of a square plus b square so 1 square plus 1 square power n e power ax so e power ax in the sense it will be 1x so we can write directly right x sin n into tan inverse of b by a what is b and a 1 1 so you can write let 1 1 by 1 is 1 plus bx plus c so bx we can write x plus c you no need to write 0 so i leave it like that so the final answer 1 plus 1 is 2 so square root of 2 power n e power x sin n tan inverse of 1 plus x